Hello everyone, this is Paul Bertarelli reporting for AvWeb and Aviation Consumer. Behind me is a new model of the Cirrus, the SR22T. Now you're probably familiar with Cirrus's initial turbocharged model, that was the SR22TN or turbo normalized. This new model has a ground boosted version of the TSIO 550K. Here's Matt Bergwall to give us some details on the airplane and then we'll take it for a brief flight demo. The biggest change on the SR22T is the, it now has a TS, uh, TCM TSIO 550K model engine in the aircraft. The engine produces 315 horsepower at approximately uh, 2500 RPMs at 36 inches of manifold pressure. A customer is probably going to notice the most, or a pilot is going to notice the most, is the smoothness of that 2500 RPMs. During takeoff, it's uh, very smooth, very quiet in the cabin and um, also the flyover noise will be quiet as well. Then in cruise, it's very, very smooth in the sense of every time you change the power, the uh, pilot doesn't notice or the passengers don't notice at all. One of the benefits of having the TSIO 550 uh, K-Series engine is uh, the 7.5 to 1 compression ratio of the engine. This allows us to possibly burn on 94 unleaded fuels and is actually under, it's under testing right now for certification with this engine. Looking at the airplane from the outside, these are some of the changes you might notice. Uh, to a trained eye, you'll notice that there is, a, there is a change in the cowl and the shape of the cowling. And also, if you look at the inlets, they're a little different shape and size as well. If you look underneath, uh, we have added some um, louvers for uh, cooling performance. And uh, we also have a new landing gear on there as well. Just like the uh, rest of the Cirrus family aircraft, uh, the SR22T has a full uh, perspective avionics suite with a dual 12-inch MFD, PFD, uh, GFC 700 autopilot, and uh, synthetic vision, and this airplane also has the enhanced vision as well. Fast traffic, uh, Cirrus departing runway 4. Go for it. Okay. One thing that is different about the Cirrus SR-22T is that the uh, throttle arrangement has been changed. So it no longer has the cam and cable to uh, control prop RPM and throttle all-in-one. It still has an all-in-one throttle, but it's fixed at 2,500 RPM. Uh, the airplane has plenty of thrust. We're accelerating here for takeoff. Very smooth all the way forward to the firewall. And there's uh, 70 knots, and nice rotation, plenty of thrust. And uh, initial climb rates are, are very strong in this airplane, a lot of high rudder as well, so it's, we're seeing about uh, 12 to 1300 feet here at 90 knots for the initial climb rate, and that's going to put us up at pattern altitude in about uh, 3 seconds. Matt and I are going to switch seats, and we're going to do some performance checks on the SR-22T. First thing to do from uh, when you're leveling off, you'll bring the power back down to whatever your percent power is. Um, today we'll go about 80%. View flow indicator increased as soon as we uh, reach past uh, 30.5 inches of manifold pressure. Now this is what, now we're ready to cruise or lead for our cruise. And all we have to do is just bring the mixture back the fuel flow matches a little cyan marker. If you wanted to go to uh, max range cruise, say uh, 55 or 60 percent, you'd probably pull it back to that indicated power and then uh, lean to the recommended fuel flow either from the uh, prospective engine page or from the POH. That's correct. We've joined the Plastic Mustache Club here at uh, 17,500 feet. Uh, the SR22T is uh, Indicating 145 knots has a true of 187 knots. That's on 17.1 gallons per hour. Uh, it's a little bit, uh, this is actually right on book for fuel, a little bit less, and a little bit faster, about four knots faster than book for performance. Uh, some notes on range, uh, we have about 38 gallons of fuel left, uh, and from southwestern Florida, we have enough range to reach up uh, well into northern Florida, almost over to the Alabama line. Uh, if we had taken off with full fuel, which is uh, 92 gallons, uh, we'd have range uh, well out to New Orleans uh, in about three and a half hours or four hours of uh, endurance. As of June 2010, the Cirrus SR22T is approved and shipping. You can find out more at CirrusDesign.com 
Also find a full review of the SR-22T in the July 2010 issue of Aviation Consumer. I'm Paul Brutarelli. Thanks for watching.